how should we think about territorial rights in a globally networked world? By now it should be clear that although the broad outlines of copyright are fairly consistent from one country to the next, there are nonetheless some really important differences that might be relevant to TDM research. The question we need to grapple with now is to what extent are these differences actually a problem for TDM researchers in a world of cross-border data flows and international collaboration? At its most basic level, the question is, whose law applies? Copyright law is inherently territorial. United States copyright wouldn't take any interest in an unauthorized reproduction or performance that takes place entirely overseas. A pirated DVD sold on the streets of London doesn't violate US copyright law unless and until someone tries to bring it into the US. As far as we know, other countries feel the same way. By the same token, if a movie was in the public domain in the United States, it's still subject to copyright in Italy. You couldn't sell pirated DVDs of that movie on the streets of Rome and expect to have US law applied. Indeed, because copyright law is inherently territorial, the advice, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, makes a lot of sense. However, the problem with global communications networks is that as far as copyright law is concerned, you might simultaneously be in Rome, Sydney, Chicago, and Beijing. Because the harm of copyright infringement consists simply of trespassing on the copyright owner's exclusive rights in a given jurisdiction, it's possible that simply making a work available on a server in one country could constitute copyright infringement in multiple countries. Usually, foreign courts won't be interested in trivial or incidental cross-border infringements. Generally, courts only take an interest in infringers that intentionally target their jurisdiction in the sense that they deliberately engage with an audience there. However, whether courts require intentional targeting of their jurisdiction and how they interpret that requirement both vary considerably. One of the most important things people tend not to understand about copyright law is that the details matter. Copyright is not a general exclusive right of advantage. Copyright is a bundle of exclusive rights in relation to specific actions. In the vocabulary of the US Copyright Act, copyright owners have the exclusive right to reproduce the work, to make derivative works, distribute the work, and publicly perform and publicly display the work. It's important to understand what's not included in the copyright owner's exclusive rights. Unless one of the exclusive rights is triggered, there is nothing wrong with using a copyrighted work, learning from it, or gaining some other kind of advantage from it. So, when we're thinking about international and cross-border copyright issues in relation to text data mining, we have to carefully evaluate which technical actions are being performed and what the copyright implications of those actions might be in different jurisdictions. We also need to think about the sometimes strange and metaphysical question of exactly where an action takes place.